Was the royal tour schedule designed with pregnant Meghan in mind? Early finishes and rest breaks have been a godsend, but the hardest part is yet to come as evening engagements begin. Flying to the other side of the world to complete 76 engagements in 16 days, taking in four countries is no mean feat for anyone let alone a mother to be in the early stages of pregnancy. But thankfully for the Duchess of Sussex, 37, the itinerary for her royal tour of Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Islands does include some built-in features to make the hectic pace a little bit kinder. Although there has been no official change to the schedule to allow for Meghan's pregnancy, it seems that events may have been ordered in a certain way to provide some respite. The couple are able to enjoy short rest breaks during the day, which are not doubt welcomed by Meghan, who is due to give birth in spring 2019, but are a standard part of any royal tour? More significantly, however, is that onlookers have noted how the royal couple are wrapping up their engagements earlier in the day than might normally be expected on a royal tour? This has provided Meghan with the opportunity to rest in the evenings with no late engagements on the schedule thus far, but that is set to change, giving Meghan her toughest challenge yet as she navigates long days. Following the royal's visit to Dubbo yesterday, a reporter from News.com O noted that Harry and Meghan took a private 15-minute break after meeting schoolchildren and farmers in Dubbo on Tuesday. This is nothing out of the ordinary on a royal tour where short breaks are always factored in, but it would no doubt have provided pregnant Meghan a welcome opportunity to take the weight off her feet. The Duchess has had her 12-week scan, but despite early speculation that she's three months along in her pregnancy, she could in fact be in her fourth month. Australian singer-songwriter Missy Higgins claimed that the Duchess is four months pregnant in an Instagram post after meeting at a reception hosted by the Governor-General at Admiralty House in Sydney. What an honour to meet the beautiful Duchess today. She was such a sweetheart. I said I felt sorry for her having to do all these meet and greets while four months pregnant. What a trooper, she wrote. The post prompted speculation that Meghan had let something slip to Missy about her due date during their conversation. While the Duchess is certainly looking the picture of health, it's possible that she is still experiencing pregnancy sickness despite passing the 12-week mark. It's usually at its worst in the early stages, but can carry on until between 16 and 20 weeks, with 1 in 20 women experiencing nausea and sickness beyond this. In addition to having the opportunity for short breaks, the Duke and Duchess have been wrapping up their engagements in the mid-afternoon, leaving the rest of the evening free for Meghan to rest. Since arriving in Sydney on Monday morning, Meghan and Harry have not carried out any late engagements conveniently allowed the Duchess time to adjust to the time difference and get over the long flight. That is set to change, as the couple are set to complete no fewer than seven evening engagements over the course of the royal tour, kicking off with the Invictus Games opening ceremony at Sydney Opera House. On their first day in New Zealand, the couple will cap a long day with a reception hosted by the Governor-General while an evening reception hosted by the Prime Minister at the Auckland War Memorial Museum is also on the agenda. The couple's first day in Fiji will be topped off by a reception and dinner hosted by the President of Fiji and they will be treated to an official welcome reception and dinner on arrival in Tonga. Back in Cindy at the end of the tour? They will be out on two consecutive evenings for the Australian Geographic Society Awards and the Invictus Games closing ceremony. It's been a hectic schedule for Harry and Meghan so far, who today met with lifeguards on the beach and tasted Australia's famous eucalyptus plant in Meebourne. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were greeted by cheering crowds and excited schoolchildren as they conducted a walkabout on arriving in the city. They were also treated to an authentic lunch of delicacies including char-grilled kangaroo and barramundi before a trip on the city's famous tram to the beach. Both Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34, looked in high spirits as they took a walk along the beach, while keeping their coats and shoes on in typical British style.